five simple and painless ways to remove a splinter one soak it in epsom salts epsom salts are an incredibly versatile cure-all for common ailments like sunburn and sore muscles but one of its lesser known uses is the fact that it can help bring deep splinters to the surface of your skin to get this to work just dissolve a cup of the salts into a warm bath and soak whatever part of the body has the splinter failing that you can also put some of the salts onto a bandage pad and leave it covered for a day. This will eventually help bring the splinter to the surface. Both methods help to draw the splinter out, which you can then pull out completely with a tweezer. 2. Slap a banana peel on top of it. They can do everything from whiten your teeth to shine your shoes, but banana peels can also rid you of your splinter woes. Simply take a portion of a ripe peel and tape the inside portion over the area with a splinter. From there, the enzymes in the peel will get to work by softening your skin and helping the splinter move closer to the surface. Some say just a few minutes is often all it takes, but if you can leave it on longer especially overnight, you'll have a better chance that the splinter will surface. Sometimes it will be drawn out far enough that it will come out on its own when you remove the peel. Other times you may still need to use a pair of tweezers to finish the job. And if it doesn't work after one night, replace the peel and leave it on for another day. Don't have a banana handy? You can also try a potato slice using essentially the same method. Place the skinless side on the area, hold in place with a bandage, and leave it on overnight. Then remove it and see if the splinter has surfaced. 3. Make a baking soda paste. First, before you do anything, clean the affected area with soap and water. Then combine a little water with of a tablespoon of baking soda to make a paste that you can then spread on the splinter. Once the paste is spread, Cover the area with a bandage and keep it just like that for a full 24 hours. You should notice that the splinter has made its way to the surface, where you can now simply just remove it. If you still can't get a hold of it, you can repeat the same procedure until the splinter is sufficiently brought above the skin. 4. Use some tape. This method is best when a splinter is already drawn to the surface a bit but tweezers just won't do. Simply take a piece of tape go for something a little stronger like duct tape and place it over the splinter. Once the tape is secure leave it on for a few minutes, gently pull it off. You may have to repeat this a few times to coax the splinter out. For a little added security, soak the area in warm water first to soften the skin. 5. Vinegar or oil. Another simple way to draw out that stubborn splinter is to soak the affected area in oil olive or corn or white vinegar. Just pour some in a bowl and soak the area for around 20 to 30 minutes. Then eyeball the splinter and see where it is. If it looks closer to the surface, but not enough to pull out, soak it longer. Once it gets far enough out, just remove it and wash the area with soap and water.